find the general solution of the given system. So you are given the system and the first step is to write it in vector x prime. So you have this one. Basically, you just take the leading coefficient of x and y, put it into a matrix. Then you find a, a minus lambda i. So let's call this matrix A and then subtract with lambda i. You will get this matrix. Then find the determinant of it. You will get this. Simplify this or distribute this out and simplify it. You will get this at this equal to zero. So for lambda, you will get a complex answer, which is four plus minus i. Okay, so plug this into this one you will get a new matrix which is this matrix augmented with zero okay so i know that this will give me an infinite solution if i reduce it that if i if i am about to solve it so instead of going through those matrices i just use this directly so use the first equation i have 2 minus i times k1 equals k2 if i choose k1 1 then k2 is 2 minus i then my vector k is 1, 2 minus i. Okay. Okay, now it's time to write our final answer. So the answer is going to be written in this form. Because you oh because you have a complex eigenvalues, your final answer is going to be this. x vector x bar equals c1 times x1 vector x1 plus c2 times vector x2 what is x1 x1 is vector b1 times cosine beta uh, t minus b vector b2 times sine beta t all time multiplied by e to the alpha t okay so first take a look at the answer first and then i'll explain my final answer later so you have this one for x1 and x2 you just switch b2 and b1 okay everything else stay the same what is b vector b1 well vector b1 is the real value for vector k you just found in this case i have one two okay vector b2 is imaginary part of vector k which is zero negative one okay well what is alpha alpha is the real part of lambda so in this case you have lambda equal four plus minus i so Alpha is for real part, beta is imaginary of lambda, which is 1. Okay, alright, let's go back to our final answer. So I have vector x equals c1 times b vector b1, which is real part of k, which is 1, 2, times a, a, for this one, I distribute this in, okay, e to the alpha t, alpha is the real part of lambda, which is 4, e to the 4t times cosine t so beta is the imaginary part of lambda so that you have one cosine one t which is cosine t then minus vector b2 b2 is the imaginary part of lambda of k which is zero negative one e to 40 psi beta t so psi t okay and then plus so you just switch the vectors together b2 and b1 plus so take this multiply by this everything stays the same and then plus this multiply by e 4t side to side t okay so one thing you need to notice is that you have positive or you have negative and positive this and this this and this stay the same this and this they just will swap the position okay you can stop at this step but if you want to go further you can simplify it down so because they have e to the 4t in common i can pull it out and for this one if i if i distribute this into a matrix and and do an operation here i have cosine t times one which is cosine t minus zero which is cosine t two times cosine t which is two cosine t minus negative one times psi t which gives me positive psi t and you're going to do the same thing over here you will have zero plus psi t which is psi t negative cosine t plus two psi t okay so that's it if you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.